Hi guys, so I'm filming outside on the little patio thing because I've been working out here like all day. I ran to the store to get some Diet Coke because we were out. It's like perfect weather here. It's like there's a little chill in the air, but it's still sunny, so it's not like freezing. So I'm really, really happy with the weather right now. Okay, so I made my lunch. I'm having a salad, some mac and cheese, and some chips back there. And when I was making the salad, like I cut myself like right here. So here is what I've been working on all day. This is what I have. It's about Starbucks getting taken away from my college campus, which was so sad. So this is what I have. I have the little Starbucks cup coming in. He disappears and then the magnifying class comes in. Then he's like, where did Starbucks go? And Starbucks is like, swipe up to see where I went. And it's basically just like a Snapchat story animation to try to get somebody to read about where Starbucks went. I had to create the animations, like the, the faces, the objects. I had to animate the bubbles. We should come up with a name for the little cup because I don't know, I just think he needs a name. So if you guys have any ideas, comment that down below. So I honestly don't know when I last vlogged, which is kind of weird. I swear the lighting in here. Oh, it's the camera again. There we go. So this morning I have been researching on bleaching your hair at home, which let me tell you, it looks not too hard if you do it the right way. And like, there's nothing for like, Asian hair. There's only like a few videos. So I'm hoping to provide people who have dark Asian like hair um, a good video and like I'm gonna write all the steps out and everything if my hair turns out really good The only like videos that I really found especially like dying virgin black hair was like people like dyeing weaves and stuff on like different types of hair like african-american hair there wasn't anything like on this type of hair and like the process and like how long to wait and stuff like so that's why i'm hoping to provide a good video for that if i get good results but in the meantime i am making myself lunch i have the stove heated up my pasta i love the fluffy wide noodles and some green beans i'm gonna throw in for lunch. I'm glad I actually found this because I had no idea what to have. Good morning guys and today is a new day. My hair is up because it's like super oily. I am going to test like a streak of it like with bleach and everything today. So we are going to Sally's which I'm really excited about. Mother's back there. Hi, ready to go. And yeah, we're ready to do this. We need to eat lunch. She needs to get her hair dye and makeup and all that jazz. All right, there it is, Sally's Beauty. We're gonna go in and see if they have everything that we need. Are you excited? I am. I'm excited. And it's right near GameStop. We just went to Sally's, but we got a mixing bowl. And then we got some shower caps, a rat tail comb, packet of bleach. The reason why we got one and we got like little stuff is because we're doing a test strand of my hair. Um, so we get like all of the instructions and things to follow when I do my whole head and like what to expect. Then we got some gloves. Then we got the Ever Classic Wella T18 hair toner. And then I got the 20 developer. I am using 20. I know some people would recommend 30 or 40 for my hair, but I would rather process my hair more times than use a harsh developer. So this one will protect my hair more and the process will be longer. But for treatment, I'm going to get the Olaplex number three. I can't get one and two because it's like so expensive and I think it's only for professional use. Thanks mother for being supportive. Oh, you're welcome. And then last but not least, we got this little applicator brush so like we can like paint on the bleach. So yeah, we're gonna test this when we get home. Now let's go get your lunch. All right, mother chose this new pizza place. It's called Me DC pizza but sherry wanted to try it i already ate just because i don't want to have pizza again but it looks really like modern in here it's really cool okay so my camera battery might die yeah i had subway for lunch mother wanted to try this new place really like the way it looks sorry about the lighting it's like everywhere but i'm gonna try the sparkling mineral water i'm kind of scared but it's in a glass bottle and it just looks cool Tastes like Diet Coke without the syrup. Really? Yeah. Just like just the... The carbonation. Yeah, 
it has a little bite to it, you know what I mean? Sherry got her pizza. I did. We're gonna have to do a taste test. Yeah. It looks interesting. It does. But so far, I don't like the way it looks. Sherry, you're being judged so I judgmental. I am. Well, I'm just in, the crust seems a little tough right now. <laughs> this is an good. honest review, well, I guess. This is Good, don't like the crust. Honest review from Sherry. Medici, an experiment gone wrong. Oh no, she knows her pizza guys. Okay, if you love pizza, her best pizza that she would suggest would be Massey's. Massey's Pizza, Columbus, Ohio. Also, they have one in South Carolina. South Carolina near Myrtle Beach. Yes, but um, other than that, she hated that pizza. It was so funny because she's like the type of person that never says anything like bad about pizza. I don't complain. I look for the good and everything. I would rather have pizza rolls than <laughs> cook them so that they're crisp. I just don't like anything that on a dough that is soggy. Yeah. And for that it had a very soggy-ish dough. I know they called it light and chewy, but to me that chewy was soggy. So yeah. it was not something that I would um, want to have again. And it was also expensive for what you got. Uh, for what I got because they charged by the topping compared to something that is sort of similar, the Blaze Pizza at Disney Springs um, has a, a thin crust, but it is a thin crust and it's not chewy. It's it's cooked all the way through, so you can pick it up and eat it. I think I said earlier, hey look, Party City's finally open. That's great. I did say that it was more like Blaze. It was not like Blaze. Other okay, that's enough about the toppings. Okay, anchovies, I have to say though, they had, did have anchovies. Yeah. Okay, so I have everything here. We are doing this outside because the fumes are like so, strong and stuff we're going to do a test strand to see how like exactly the process that i need to go through if i'm gonna actually do this for real my mom's seeing if we have like a little whisk so we can mix this up and then we're gonna mix it up and we're gonna sit and wait and see how it turns out okay so we got the hair that i'm gonna do and i know this looks bad but I need enough hair to see like the difference. You know what I mean? Like, and it needs to be on my scalp for the skin test to make sure I'm like not allergic to this. It's behind my ear, so when I cut it off, you won't really be able to see it. So yeah. We're gonna start mixing now. Wait, Sherry, put your gloves on. Oh, gloves. That would be a smart decision. Where are they? They're right here. Oh. Okay, so what we're gonna do, you start from the bottom, work your way up, because the roots die faster. Ooh, these are latex. I love the smell of rubber, guys. I'm such a weirdo. And they're so powdery, Sherry. These are my favorite types of gloves because you can blow them up like chickens. Has anyone else done that? Like, that's funny and fun. I used to do that all the time with my cousins. You start from the bottom and work your way up. This is what my hair looks like. Oh my gosh, it is blonde. So this is a really, really bad angle. And I know that. But I have to, like, lean over so, like, the towel won't fall out. But um, Mother is going to rinse out the little strands with cold water. Because, okay, remember, if you're going to bleach your hair, always rinse out the bleach with cold water. Near my roots it's got lighter. lighter. So that's why you do your roots last. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what it looks like dry. It's very strawberry blonde-esque. It's very orange and very brassy. Um, I'm not going to put the toner on it because um, the toner literally won't do anything um, so we are going to process it again for 40 minutes and it should lighten up quite a bit so this is the second time of a bleaching <laughs> okay so this is dying number two this is the results of number two it's lighter strawberry blonde so i think one more lighten will lighten it enough we're going to try it one more time so i'm hoping a third time's the charm and then we'll be able to tone and guys i'm doing this just so i know how many times that i need to do this rather than like you know 
just like going in on my head and like doing stuff and then regretting it. Oh, Sherry made us some chip and dip. Okay, cause we're gonna have a, like a little cookout tonight. It's not actually gonna be a cookout. It's just gonna be like hot dogs and stuff. But we're going to wash this baby on out and see if she's ready for toner. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like. Here, let me change the camera settings. There we go. But it's definitely a light yellow. And that's what we want because we're going to put the toner on it to get out the yellowness. The yellowness. I don't even know if that's a word. Okay, so I have damp hair and we're going, we're getting ready to mix the toner with the developer. Okay, and this is the finished product. Um, it's pretty light as you can see. It's more of a blonde. I am, when I'm going to do my real hair, I'm going to bleach it four times. This is with bleaching it three times and it's just still not to my desired look. But I use the T18 Ash Blonde Toner, which is perfect because it does lighten the hair quite a bit. It takes out the brassiness. So the thing that I learned was that I need to bleach four times rather than three times. But this still looks really good. When I mix it in with my other hair, it looks awesome. I'm going to go shower now and wash all of my hair. I do not have a purple shampoo, but I'm gonna get one, obviously, like when I have my whole head to wash. But this is just like a strip of the hair. I think I'm just gonna wash it with normal. It's still, again, the color is perfect. I just need it to be a little lighter. So mother made us a lovely dinner. I'm so happy with it. We had a good day today. So I think I'm just going to end the vlog here because I need to edit this tonight. And it's gonna be a fun, it's, it's, this was a fun vlog, you know? Um, this is definitely gonna be a process. I am not going to bleach my hair more than once in one sitting that was just to gauge how many times i might need to do it and i've come to the conclusion i'm probably going to need to do it four to five times to get the look i want to get it light enough but i'm definitely using the toner because that toner seems to be like the best on the block right now so definitely gonna keep the toner i'm just gonna bleach a little bit more i like it i haven't cut it out of my head because i actually like it and you know I don't know, it gives some texture, right? Yeah, it's definitely going to be a process. But it's a journey that'll be fun. And I'm very lucky to have Sherry to help me. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified whenever I post a video. And I'm going to put all of my hair videos, I think, in a playlist. All right, I'll see you guys real soon. Bye. Oh, water please. <laughs>